perhaps third time lucky. Today I'll talk about the use of ba in Chinese sentence. But before I start talking about the use of ba, we need to understand the function of ba. First of all, I will talk about this in English. For example, in a statement or a sentence, I threw out the rubbish, okay, or I throw the rubbish out. In the sentence, the subject is I, and the verb is to throw, and then the object is the rubbish, okay. In this sentence, the focus is actually I, the doer because it is at the very front of the sentence. However, if in English we wish to shift the focus from I to the object, we could do one thing. We could actually use intonation and stress in order to make rubbish stand out. So we could say, I threw out the rubbish rather than I threw out the meat. Okay, so in this case, the focus has been shifted to the word rubbish because it's louder and means more stress. Now, how do you achieve the same thing in Chinese? Because in Chinese, you cannot just use intonation to say something louder in order to shift the focus. Because every word had tones that would interfere with that particular effect. So we use the bar sentence in order to alert to the listener what we are doing to the object. In this case, it's the rush. So the structure of a bar sentence would be wo ba le se zheng le. Okay. Now, the doer is still I, but because of the ba in the second position, it alerts to the listener that the focus now is on the object. And what we want to do is to throw it away. In, notice the verb here is not simply just a verb. Zheng is actually the verb plus its complement. In this case, it's lu, telling you that I have completed the action. When do we use such sentences? We usually use it when we give the instructions. For example, you often hear in schools or even at home, somebody will say to you, Ba meng guan shao. Close the door. Now in this case, there is no particular doer that we wanted to do this particular act. The speaker the one who gives the instructions, only wants the door to be shut. So the focus is on the door. It's on the door. Okay. So this is how, in Chinese, we accomplish, it, accomplish how to shift the focus from the subject to object by using the bar sentences especially when we want to emphasize what we want to do to the object of a sentence. Thank you for today, listening to today's explanation.